The Lord is the strength of his people, a saving refuge for the one he has anointed. Save your people, Lord, and bless your heritage, and govern them forever. A very good morning to everybody. <coughs> Today, as we come together to celebrate the Requiem Mass for all our dearly departed brothers and sisters of the faith, let us continue to strengthen them with our prayers, of which they <coughs> very dearly needed for the journey of life. So as we come before the Lord, we lift up Psalm 152 of them <coughs> that has been listed and given their names uh, by their relatives for this particular Mass. And so let us begin the Mass as we continue to lay our faith on it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who will that your only begotten Son have conquered death, should pass over into the realms of heaven, grant, we pray, to your departed servants, that will the mortality of this life overcome, they may gaze eternally on you, their Creator and Redeemer, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the second book of the Kings. In the ninth year of Siddiqiah's reign, in the tenth month, on the tenth day of the month, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came with his whole army to attack Jerusalem. He pitched camp in front of the city and threw up earthworks round it. The city lay under siege till the eleventh year of King Sidiah, Siddiqiah. In the fourth month, on the ninth day of the month, when famine was raging in the city, 
and there was no food for the populace, a breach was made in the city wall. At once, the king made his escape under cover of dark with all the fighting men by way of the gate between the two walls, which is near the king's garden. The Chaldeans had surrounded the city and made his way towards the Araba. The Chaldean troops pursued the king and caught up with him in the plains of Jericho, where all his troops deserted. The Chaldeans captured the king and took him to the king of Babylon at Ribla, who passed sentence on him. He had the sons of Zedekiah slaughtered before his eyes, then put out Zedekiah's eyes and loading him with chains, carried him off to Babylon. In the fifth month, on the seventh day of the month, it was in the 19th year of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, Nebuzaradan, commander of the guard, an officer of the king of Babylon, entered Jerusalem. He, buried down, he burned down the temple of the Lord, the royal palace, and all the houses in Jerusalem. The Chaldean troops who accompanied the commander of the guard demolished the walls surrounding Jerusalem. Nebuzaradan, commander of the guard, deported the remainder of the population left behind in the city, the deserters who had gone over the king of Babylon, and the rest of the common people. The commander of the guard left some of the humbler country people as vineyard workers and plowmen. The word of the Lord. Oh, let my tongue cleave to my mouth if I remember you not. Oh, let my tongue cleave to my mouth if I remember you not. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat and wept, remembering Zion on the poplars that grew there. We hung up our harps. Oh, let my tongue cleave to my mouth, if I remember you not. For it was there that they asked us, our captors, for songs, our oppressors, for joy. Sing to us, they said, one of Zion's songs. Oh, let my tongue cleave to my mouth, if I remember you not. Oh, how could we sing the song of the Lord on alien soil? If I forget you, Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. Oh, let my tongue cleave to my mouth, if I remember you not. Oh, let my tongue cleave to my mouth, if I remember you not. If I prize not Jerusalem above all my joys. Oh, let my tongue cleave to my mouth, if I remember you not. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to your Lord. After Jesus had come down from the mountain, large crowds followed him. A leper now came up and bowed low in front of him. Sir, he said, if you want to, you can cure me. Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him and said, of course I want to be cured. And his leprosy was cured at once. And Jesus said to him, Mind you, do not tell anyone, but go and show yourself to the priests and make the offering prescribed by Moses as evidence for them. 
The Gospel of the Lord. The leper in the Gospel came towards Jesus, bowed down in front of Jesus, and he said, Sir, if you want to, you can cure me. Of course, Jesus wants to heal anyone who is so much ready to come towards him. Not just that we demand anything from him, but very much that Jesus looks into the heart of the leper and also into the hearts of each one of us, whether we have that expectant faith, knowing fully well and believing in what that Jesus being the only person, the Savior of our life, who can heal all of us. Today, when we celebrate the Requiem Mass for our dearly departed, we too, we come with that expectant faith. We ask of the Lord to continue to guide, protect, and hold all our dearly departed firmly in his heart so as to bring them home to the heavenly kingdom that he, Jesus himself, promised to them all as we too prepare ourselves well with the expectation of knowing then what we must do. Jesus hint to you and I. It's as much as that he had then said to the leper, mind you do not tell anyone but go and show yourself to the priest and make the offering prescribed by Moses as evidence for them. Many of us, before the total shutdown, should I say, in the MCO, that we miss the last confession. And today, and the other two mornings too, or even last Sunday, we have to ask ourselves, have I prepared myself with the expectant faith to come before the Lord and receive Him in the Eucharist? If you have not done so, prepare yourself to go to confession as soon as possible. You all know that you can always go to the parish office, look for any one of us, make that confession. It's very much so that the Lord continue to remind you and I that we must not take things for granted and then don't just come to see him by habit, but very much as to know how then we should exercise the sacraments. So as we come before the Lord with that expectant faith, we pray for ourselves, we pray for all those who are sick, and most of all, today when we have this required must, with that expectant faith, we ask of the Lord to 
be merciful to all our dearly departed. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, on the sacrificial offerings we present to you for the souls of your servants, and just as you bestow on them the dignity of the Christian faith, grant them also its reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in Him, the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned. That those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fund of all holiness. Make holy. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop and all the clergy. <clears throat> Remember all your servants whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they be united with your Son in a death like his, and may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, and the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ. Not bring us to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for us protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Eyes of all look to you, Lord, and you give them their food in due season.
Let us pray. Through these sacrificial gifts which we have received, O Lord, bestow on your departed servants your great mercy. And to those you have endowed with the grace of baptism, grant also the fullness of eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.